uh, doing a video on the best places to visit in Kenya. Best, best, best places to visit in Kenya. Here in Kenya. So today we are going to start with uh, Masai Mara, as most people know. It's also known as Masai, Masai Mara National Park. It's also known as Masai Mara. The park, also known as Masai Mara, is located on the southwest of Kenya, mm -hmm. on the border of Tanzania. It usually has it's one of the biggest parks in Kenya. Mm -hmm. it, it has the wild beast migration mm -hmm. from July to October, so it's usually the best time to go during the rainy season. Mm -hmm. And also in December, when the big five are are also migrating, such as such as the lions. Oh, the big five lions. Elephants. Elephant. Yeah. Okay then. So if I want to go to Masai Mara, the best place, uh, time to go is on December to February, or July to October. I'd say July to October. Okay then. So the other place I know, it's called Abusele National Park. So what am I talking <laughs> uh, it's located near Mount Kilimanjaro and it's one of the most popular tourist parks in Kenya. Mm -hmm. It also has the best reserve in Africa mm -hmm. and also also has the, one of the largest species of birds at 600 different wow. types. Wow, that's amazing. And it also was named after the lake Mboseli. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's located where? Near Kilimanjaro? Yeah. Mount Kilimanjaro? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so the other place I know it's called Lake Nakuru, which is located in the Rift Valley. Yeah, so more materials about, about the Lake Nakuru. Uh. Lake Nakuru is, has a very big, large landscape. Mm -hmm. as it is known for having a euphoric can candelation forest in Africa. Uh, it also has good sites for camping, mm -hmm. which you can book online, mm -hmm. and has a very nice lake that usually has many hippos. Wow. Yeah, you can go fishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never gone to Nakuru though. I think I have. <laughs> yeah, but I went for a school trip and business trip, but I've never gone for vacation. But I'll go soon to see. Mm -hmm. So the other place I I love most and most people even love because going there because of beaches, it's called Marindi. It's in the coast. That's the place you find beach. Uh, that's the place it has. It has nice culture because of that trade that was happening in coast. And the people in coast, they are very welcoming and loving. The beach is amazing. The place is so amazing. Uh, it's calm, but it's very hot sometimes. So that's why these beaches, whenever you feel hot, you can just go and swim. 
So if you, you want to go to Marindi, you can just book online. Check the best places, the best hotel, the affordable hotels. You can go and book there. And you pop, you just book a visa and come to Kenya and see how the beach is looking in Kenya. Yeah, that's what I know about Marindi. But Woma, do you have anything else you can add about Marindi? Nope, I think you summarized everything. <laughs> Good. Okay, then. Yeah, so that's what I know about that place. Uh, Marindi, it's also, I think even your town is close to that place. But that's the best place you can go to make memories. <laughs> yeah. So the other place. Place I know it's called Mount Kenya. Mm, yeah. So tell us about Mount Kenya National Park. Alright, um, it's Mount Kenya National Park is Located east of the Great Rift Valley, mm -hmm. and it was formed to volcanic action many over 200 years ago, wow. and it's officially extinct. Mm -hmm. And it is one; it is the highest mountain in Kenya mm -hmm. at 4,500 meters, mm -hmm. and many people go there to climb it. Mm -hmm. And some are able to reach the top. With there being snow up there, and wow. many different types of animals can also be found there, such as monkeys, buffaloes, elephants, etc. Okay. So let me ask: Do you even find equator? Do you do you pass equator whenever you're going to Mount Kenya? Because I think so. No. Oh, it's different, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. The other places you can visit. <clears throat> it's the best uh, the malls in Kenya. We have nice and best not even the best but amazing malls in Kenya. So we have like a place you can just go and have fun. It's called uh the Two River Mall. You can Google about the Two River Mall. It's nice if you want to shop, you can just go and shop there. And it has nice restaurants, any restaurant for your country, I think most of them are just there. We have other places like um, the harbor. Yeah, you know the harbor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hub is in Karen and we have a village market. It's close to two rivers and the two rivers is the biggest mall in East Africa. Now you can imagine it's big. It has all stuff you want to there so the village market it's next to two rivers but in village market you just get uh hotels which are not kenyans so if you miss your country you just go to village market you can even meet someone from your country you just feel like your home uh another place is the garden city and we have so many others more you can come and visit and have fun yeah, so those are the only places we thought we would share with Wama today. <laughs> I think we have done an amazing job. What do you think? Yeah, we've done well. <laughs> yeah, so those are the places you can visit in Kenya. I'll leave the names down below in case you want to Google about the places. 
and remember to like and subscribe to my account for more videos and yeah thank you for watching and supporting us uh woman do you have anything you want to say no i feel like i'm good for sure oh. hopefully you guys are able to go see these places awesome okay yeah so thank you for watching and have a great day ahead bye place you can just go and have fun it's called uh, the two river small you can go go about the two river small it's nice if you want to shop you can just go and shop there and it has nice restaurants any restaurant for your country i think most of them are just there we have other places like um the harbor yeah you know the harbor mm -hmm. Yeah, the hub is in Karen and we have a village market. It's close to two rivers and the two rivers is the biggest mall in East Africa. Now you can imagine it's big. It has all stuff you want to, to see there. So the village market is next to two rivers, but in village market you just get uh, hotels which are not Kenyans. So if you miss your country, you just go to village market, you can even meet someone from your country. You just feel like you're home. Uh, another place is the Garden City and we have so many others more you can come and visit and have fun. Yeah, so those are the only places we thought we would share with Wama today. <laughs> I think we have done an amazing job. What do you think? Yeah, we've done well. <laughs> yeah, so those are the places you can visit in Kenya. I'll leave the names down below in case you want to Google about the places. And remember to like and subscribe to my account for more videos. And yeah, thank you for watching and supporting now. Oh, hopefully you guys are able to go see these places. Awesome. Okay. Then. Yeah, so thank you for watching. And have a great day ahead. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh.